What's up guys, Vital Syntax here, and it's been quite a while since I've made a video, um, but now that the Battlefield 4 beta is out, I wanted to give you guys my first impressions on that game, and also give you guys an update on where the hell I've been for the past six weeks, and what I've been doing, why I haven't been able to make videos, and also give you guys an eye into the future of what you guys can expect going forward from my YouTube channel. So first of all, with the Battlefield 4 beta out, it's uh, on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC. Uh, it's open beta, so anybody can download it, and it's going to run till the 15th of October, and then the game comes out on the 29th of October. Um, overall, I'm really excited and really happy with what they did with Battlefield 4. I like the, the, the kit balance and the weapon balance that they've improved on. I like how they brought C4 and Motion Mines to the... The recon class, you know, they reduce suppression. There's a list of things that they've changed and updated, but most of those things are evolutionary. Basically, just a big patch for Battlefield 3. They have some new stuff like Levolution, but honestly, I think those things are pretty gimmicky. And for the console players, it's going to be huge going from thir or from 24 players to 64 players and going from uh, 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second. So if you're a console player, I can guarantee that Battlefield 4 is going to be a massive upgrade for you. But for us PC players, I feel like it really is just a big patch. But I'm okay with that because Battlefield 3 was my favorite game of all time. It's the game I've played more than any other game. But at the same time, there was a lot of issues with that game, specifically with the kit and weapon balance. Uh, everybody knows about the AK, AK the M16, how the assault kit, if in infantry-based game modes, is the go-to class, and if in vehicle-based game modes, the engineer is the go-to class. The other two classes, support and recon, really needed a buff. And they got one. They brought C4, they brought motion mines, the recon class, they gave support better um, accuracy with the light machine guns, they gave them you know, the grenade launch of the airburst, they gave them uh, the ability to give out ammo, and now ammo is not a squad perk that you can just equip whenever you want and just get magically you know, 300 rounds. Um, so the support class is actually a really useful tool now, and the recon class is actually a fairly useful tool now. Um, but the big issue is that, well, let me first say that now I think the classes and the weapons are extremely well balanced in Conquest. Once you step outside of Conquest, once you step into a infantry-based game mode like Domination, which is basically Team Deathmatch with flag points, which is in the beta right now, your weapon balance and kit balance goes out the window. Because now the assault kit that has the ability to revive teammates, it has the best all around weapons, and it also has the ability to heal himself, that's the best kit. Yeah, you want somebody with ammo, just in case everybody, you know, so you run out of ammo, but in a game mode like Domination where it's so fast paced, you're gonna be dead before you run out of ammo in most cases. And you don't really need the recon class because the motion mines, well, C4 is basically useless if you're not using it against vehicles. Um, I mean, you could set up traps and stuff like that, but, you know, it's not that useful. Um, the motion mines really aren't that useful because it's going to be so close quarters and so, you know, fast paced that detecting enemies isn't really a matter of, of using a tool. It's just a matter of looking around the corner and you see six guys looking at you. <laughs> um, and then obviously with the engineer, RPGs and. You know, repair tool, stingers are all kind of useless when you don't have vehicles around because they're all anti-vehicle or uh, repair vehicle oriented tools. So in my opinion, once you go into an infantry-based game mode in Battlefield 4, and this is the same issue Battlefield 3 had, your balance goes out the window. Now, some people will say to that, then just play Conquest. That's a good point. That's really all I've been playing in the beta, and I really like Conquest. The issue is that a huge portion of the player base in Battlefield 3 and in Battlefield 4 have been playing and will be playing uh, infantry based game modes more than anything else and when a huge portion of your player base plays a game mode like that you need to have balance for that game mode as well I mean if it was just you know a game mode that kind of tacked on and you know there's just a couple dozen people playing every once in a while if it's not balanced it's not the end of the world but when you know a good portion and when I say a good portion I mean at least 30% maybe 50% of the people are playing infantry-based game modes, um, 
there's a big issue in my opinion. And I like playing Domination. I like playing infantry-based game modes. I like being able not having to worry about vehicles and uh, worrying about you know a massive 64-player battle. Uh, especially when I'm playing by myself. You know, you don't really have much control over your team's success in a 64-player conquest match. Uh, if you're playing, you know, Team Deathmatch or Domination and 24 players or 32 players, you do. You have a lot more say in what happens to your team's success. So, I like to play those game modes, but I'm just, you know, playing the game by myself, not playing with buddies or not playing with a squad of players. Um... So those are my first impressions of the beta, at least some of them. I'll save some more of them for possibly another video, but uh, let's move on to where I've been and what I've been doing for the past uh, six weeks. I got a full-time job at a IT slash software development company, um, fairly close to where I'm living, and it's a really awesome job, and really what it's come down to is I just haven't had time. I mean, I, I work from 8 till 5 every day, I get the weekends off, obviously, but... Um, I just haven't had very much time to first of all play video games and there really hasn't been any video games out that I've wanted to play that much and second of all I really had time to you know sit down record gameplay sit down record commentary come up with concepts come up with ideas to talk about um, so that's why the weather has been a lack of videos for a while hopefully uh, there wasn't a whole lot of people that um, you know missed me that much uh, I, I've been on Twitter quite a bit and if you want you know that type of interaction of um, you know, knowing what's going on with me at any given time, Twitter is where you should be following me because that's, you know, where I'm always kind of updating people. And, uh, I, I mentioned on there right when I got the job about, uh, you know, the fact that I probably won't be able to have videos out for a while. That's because I've been so busy, haven't had time and things along those lines. So, that's what I've been doing. I thoroughly enjoy my job. It's a, a really, really awesome job. The people that I work with are really cool. Uh, I feel like I've already made some really awesome people, or friends there. Um, and right now, I, they actually originally hired me to do software training, and I'm still doing that a little bit, but it's moving more and more towards doing interface, uh, graphics, media production, basically doing graphic design and things along those lines, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And it's it's a dream come true, really, for me. It's it's my basically ideal job, um, and I'm really, really excited to work there. And it's been really awesome, you know, because I've gotten a new job, and now I actually have you know some money to spend. Because honestly, YouTube, you don't make very much money at all, um, and I've been doing that for quite a while now. Uh, so now that I actually have money to spend and stuff, some really awesome things I've been able to do. Like for example, I just bought a car. Uh, I bought a car about a month ago now, or three weeks ago. It's a, a Mazda Speed 6 manual transmission, 6-speed gearbox. It's got a turbocharger in it. It's got, um, I think, like 280 horsepower with the turbo in there. Um, manual, obviously, so it's got a clutch and everything. And it's a really fun car to drive. And this is my first car, actually. Um, before this, I've always kind of mooched off my brother's car, and he has, you know, he has a manual car as well. Um, so... It, you know, the fact that I now I have this, this full-time job really has been what's limited me from making videos. But hopefully that's... I know that kind of sucks for people that really like watching my videos because I haven't been able to upload them, you know, very often. But hopefully you guys can be happy for me that now I have um, <laughs> an awesome job that I really, really like. So, anyway, next thing I want to talk about was what you guys can expect from me in the future. My goal is to try and do a video once a week. Um, probably during the weekends, so probably on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Ideally, that's what I'm shooting for. It might be two videos a week at most. Three videos would be amazing, um, but it might be as little as you know one video a month. So it's it's going it's it's changed pretty quickly and it's changed pretty drastically. And hopefully that you guys can understand that and won't be too frustrated that uh, you know I just have other obligations now and and things that take up a lot more time than than the, uh, the amount of free time that I had in the past. Um, so it, it'll, it'll be a little more focused as well. In the past, I've kind of covered every game uh, under the sun, whereas now I feel like my channel is going to be a Battlefield 4 channel. Until Daisy comes out, then it's going to be a Daisy channel. I'm not going to be uploading you know videos on, on other games that I'm excited for and possibly playing. You're probably just going to see the major games that I've always kind of been into, like Battlefield, Daisy, Star Citizen, uh, things along those lines. Um, 
But let me know if you guys have any suggestions. You know, understanding that I have limited time now, what would you guys want to see? Um, and how would you guys like to see it? I, you know, I already have ideas of, of what I can do, but if you guys have any suggestions, those are welcome as well. So, anyway, sorry the video was so long. There was a lot to talk about. Um, and there's a lot to talk about still in the future. So, I will see you guys hopefully next week or sometime earlier with some more Battlefield 4 gameplay and commentary and whatnot. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.